This video is to show you how to interface IOs with the Animatix Gen CNC software. First go up to File and open up your G code. This could be a .tap file or a G code file. It's a .tap here because I use the DXF conversion tool in Gen CNC. After you open it up you'll see it down in the right hand corner. You push up, it'll go down the code. If you push down, it'll go up the code. That's just line increments. Now if we go to Setup and I do select Machine Settings, you'll notice that I'm going to the Input tab, and this is where I have my I/O select or set up. For port B on the Y-axis, I have Resume after M51. I can choose whatever I want here, but just as long as it's different than Input does nothing, then something will happen in inter interfacing that I/O. So I'm going to go back and select what we had before, which is Resume after M51. Then I go to the Output tab, and you'll notice here where I have the description. I have set for M8, reset for M9, and that is on the y-axis on output E. E is an LED. If you set it, it goes to red. If you reset it, it goes to green. Now I'll go back to the input tab. You'll notice it's on the y-axis. Just want to make sure. So this I.O. interfacing is only for the y-axis, but it affects the whole system. You go back to the machine setting tab. If you want more information on this, please refer to an earlier video to how to set up these machine parameters. This is to do, do does with your mechanics of your system. So hit apply, and then I'll tell you that saves have, changes have been saved, and hit close. Now we're back to the main screen. Well, what I'm going to do here is op open up the G code or edit it so we can see it a little bit easier here, and I can explain it. At the top, we have feed rate of 10 that sets our feed rate. G90 is going to do absolute mo mode. Uh, that's going to move the Z, at the G0. Next line is going to move the Z axis, and then we're going to move or the X axis. L1 is line label. G91 is relative position mode. M8, like mentioned before, is turning the LED on that I/O to red. Uh, the next line is going to be your X axis move. Then I have G17 F30. G17 is actually going to uh, select the X Y plane for circular motion, and the F30 is your feed rate. And then you'll see here the next line goes Z down, the next line is your circle, then Z up, and then M9 is your green LED, M51 waits for that other input to do another circle move, then at that point it waits for an input to do another circle move, then it jumps back up according to G76P4L1, which is going to create a loop, and it's P4 is going to loop four times, and it's going to call line label number one. So it jumps back up to G91, which is relative mode, and goes through the whole process and does that four times. So I'm now going to show you the actual screen of Gen CNC compared to the live video feed of this machine. The actual screen's on the left, and the live feed's on the right. You'll notice the I/O interface image on the left. As it's moving, it's red and when it's finished it's green. So red signifies busy and green means complete, ready. And you'll notice that real time those circles are drawing together. Now we'll look at the actual machine. There's one smart motor on the ZX as is shown there and then we got one on each of the Y and the X. Please note that there's very minimum cable here because these are integrated smart motors so the controller, amplifier, encoder is all built into that clean compact solution. So all we really need here is a power supply as shown there wired to the first motor and then we bridge our motors to motor, motor to motor through an adder motor cable. And you'll notice uh, RS-232 is coming from the computer to the first motor. So that's all you need to interface this.